Good evening, and welcome to East End 2K, The Riverhead Show. The Riverhead Show endeavors each week to bring you the best of the East End. We hope in every program to offer subjects of special interest, often unique to the East End of Long Island. The East End, a wonderful place to live, to work, and to play. Join us now for this evening's presentation of East End 2K, The Riverhead Show. I told you many times the North Fork is an area with great talent, great originality, and a resource of some of the most uh, interesting people you're liable to meet anywhere. One of them is my friend and the very talented Lisa A. Dabrowski. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for coming on our show. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. We're going to be looking at uh, some of your paintings. We're going to look at some of your creative work. But let's talk a little about you first. And I think one of the more interesting things is y your search for your roots. You went all the way back on your own to Poland. Well, that was that was um, a few years ago. I did go to Poland to uh, visit family that I you know never had met before, and uh, to find out family history, and to see really where I came from, that the heritage. But you're also quite the photographer, because I noticed that now you published a book uh, while you were there, and you know, a book of poems, I believe. Mm -hmm. And in that book uh, also are some pictures, very contemplative pictures among trees and really, really interesting things. So you f not only found uh, your roots, I guess, but you also found uh, a lot about a country that many of us are very emotionally attached to. Well, I tried to get the real feel of Poland when I was there. Um, I did some photography, uh, self-portraits where um, I was in a park and it just, the, the scenery just um, was overwhelming to me and I really wanted to capture the, the moment. And uh, I mostly photographed in black and white. I really like photographing um, in that medium right. and uh, it really brings out a lot of, uh, of feelings. It's very dramatic, and, and you could get those great shadow details. And I know you're an artist, and uh, during the program we'll be looking at some of your artwork. I also know that you're uh, a very talented and skilled seamstress. So we'll see some of that too, won't we? Well, I'll bring some out, okay. <laughs> okay, so do that. And to top it all off, and I think people who might remember your show on Cablevision, uh, where you sang... Uh, you performed, and you, you have your guitar, so we're going to have be treated to some really nice music. So thank you for bringing the guitar. Okay, I might do a song or two also. We're going to have to coax her into <laughs> singing that song, but I think it'll be okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that, that was a songwriter's studio. I had it on for probably about seven years it ran. And um, I really enjoyed doing the show, and I met a lot of really nice uh, people and uh, great musicians and just very talented songwriters out there. And now I, I, I see you've extended your public service efforts on the North Fork. Well, I, I am doing a new show on WVVH-TV. Um, they wanted a, a show featuring the North Fork, and they contacted me through um, a mutual uh, acquaintance. And I've been filming now for several weeks, and I really try to capture the, the true North Fork. Um, I've gone to um, places that say like uh, the Cutchogue Lions Club had a car show, an antique car show, or the uh, Mattuck Strawberry Festival by the Mattuck Lions Club. Um, I really wanted to show the true North Fork. And I also remember seeing uh, a fire truck uh, at the, one of the fire departments. Yes, that was Cutchogue Fire Department. Um, really just the people that are very involved in the community and to help make the North Fork what it is. And you're online with that program with streaming video. Well, it's, it's also on YouTube. Um, you can do a search under North Fork, and um, it's actually called Welcome to the North Fork, the program. So if you, if you look under that, you can find it. And also, VVH, um, there's a webcast on the show. 
So how do you find anything, uh, any time to do anything else, Lisa? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really keeping busy, Lisa A. Dabrowski. So thank you for this introduction to let people get to know you a little bit better. And uh, let's go on now and take a look at something most interesting. Okay. Um, well, you mentioned about sewing. Um, I do like to create different things um, in, all, in all different uh, types of material. And one of the things I did was, well, let's find out what's in the hat box. This was something I created back in, oh, the early 90s when I was doing um, Little Bo Peep at the River Country Fair. I would bring my sheep Easter to there and I dressed up in costume. And this was one of the bonnets I made for that event. Um, it's actually very simply made. Um, I wanted something old fashioned looking, so uh, I created a, a metal frame out of clothes hangers. And I put them all together, and then what I did actually was uh, get a placemat, and I cut the pieces out and sewed them onto the frame, and then took it from there and put uh, material on top of that and some lace and ribbon. So this was my Bo Peep costume for the country fair, Riverhead, and uh, it went on. Well, I like that.